guys, how's it going? Today we are going to be doing um, our Leak Code 75 problem for the day. Uh, and today we have moved on to the sliding window category. So um, for those of you who don't know what the sliding window is, we're going to um, explain that in this video. And uh, basically, uh, to kind of summarize it up front, it's a approach or I guess a technique that you can use in coding to solve problems um, using a sliding window, um, which I guess uh, you need an array to do so. Um, and it's a way of kind of iter iterating over the array, um, kind of similar to two pointers in a sense. Um, so let's go ahead and dive right into this problem. So uh, the instructions are, you are given an integer array nums consisting of n elements and an integer k. Find a contiguous subarray whose length is equal to k that has a maximum average value and return this value. Any answer with a calculation error less than 10 to the negative 5 will be accepted. So uh, basically, um, the problem is pretty straightforward, uh, but to kind of uh, summarize it, uh, we're given a size, a uh, number k, and uh, k is the size of the continuous array or continuous sequence that we have to basically capture, and we're trying to find the max sum of the max average um, of the of the sequence, right? So um, it kind of explains it right here. So um, in this case, it's twelve five. 12, negative 5, 6, and 50, and k is size number 4, and then we average that by dividing by 4. I think you guys can get the rest. Um, so let's go and do the code implementation. So, um, right, the first thing that we're going to want to do is um, we're going to want to capture the, the first window, um, which we're going to have to store inside of, uh, we can call it a sum, um, variable and this is going to have to be a double because we're returning a double as seen here um, in the method declaration so um, let's just call double sum set that equal to zero for now all right and then as I said we want to get our first um, kind of snapshot of the window so um, we'll set up a for loop for that just to iterate from the zero to k basically in the array so uh, for int is equal to i is equal to zero i is less than k and then iterate i and then we basically just want to add these numbers to the sum all right and then um now what we're going to want to do is we're going to want to uh, basically uh, declare a result variable. And this result is going to be used to compare to the existing sum. And as we're moving up the sliding window, um, we're going to be choosing using the, the math max uh, built in method of Java. We're going to be choosing between the two, which one's higher as we're sliding the window. So, uh, I'll show you how we're going to do this. Uh, so we can call this uh, R -E -R -E -S for short. Um, and then we'll set this equal to the sub for now. Um, and now we want to iterate starting at K. So our, we're setting our I to K. And then we're going until I is less than the length of the array. So nums that length. I plus plus. All right, so basically I'll show you how we're gonna move the window. So um, we're gonna do nums at the ith place minus nums i minus k. So basically what this does is it adds the number at the ith place and then it also subtracts the number that was in the beginning of that sliding window. So we're basically moving up the window uh, one, one level 
Um, and then what we want to do is choose between the maximum. So if that window size was bigger, then we want to choose that as our result. So what we're going to do is result equals math dot max and then result sum. Okay. And then since we're returning the average, we want to just divide that by K. All right. And that should work for us. Cool. There we go. As you can see, it passes the test cases. We'll go ahead and run that. Awesome. So yeah, that beats 65% um, in terms of the, uh, the speed. Um, but to go over the time complexity and the space complexity, uh, the time complexity is big of n because uh, we're just, as you guys already saw, we're iterating through the input array once, which is of size n, henceforth the uh, big O of n time complexity. And then for the space complexity, it's constant big O of 1 um, because we're not using any uh, data structures that scale with the with the input uh, variable. So um, yeah, that's it for today. Um, if you guys have any uh, comments or suggestions for other videos that I do, please go ahead and leave that in the comment section. And uh, if you found this video helpful, uh, please go ahead and leave a like and subscribe to my channel for more related content. I'm going to keep doing um, all the videos in this series and uh, there's still some more videos in the sliding window um, category so if you're if if you haven't heard of the sliding window concept or you're not that good with it then definitely tune in for these next videos because I'm gonna be trying to teach you um, how to implement it effectively um, if it ever comes up in a job interview in the future for you so um, yeah we'll see you in the next video